May the Lord God bless all of you. Today is October 15th and this is 288th drop of the living water. We are learning from the whole scripture, not from one uh, testament, new, old, doesn't matter. We are learning the whole scripture, the big picture, the entire word of God. That's why we are learning from everything, every book and every prophet and everything that he declares. Blessings and curses, heaven and hell, life and death. Everything is written black and white, red and white. We need to know everything. Otherwise, we will be misled and uh, mistaken. Right. So, now we know the whole scripture is given to us to provoke, teach and complete the man of God. That is the key. That is what Apostle Paul writes to his disciple Timothy. So, we cannot take any scripture, any single word comma out of this scripture. Remember, not even a comma or punctuation will be taken away until everything will be completed. Christ Jesus says. Right. So, let's move on. We learned that what are the things that we have to face. The harsh reality that we have to face if we break commandments. Completely, until we completely be destroyed, it comes after us. We cannot save from that. So that is why we need to understand and obey and not only cleanse him by the blood of Jesus Christ, but after that discipline ourselves according to the word of God, according to the commandments and law. Right. So now we know that a whole package, we took one by one out of the package and learn and we so observed. All our ways of income will be challenged. Secondly, our trusted fortified walls will be come down, coming down. And the third thing we learned yesterday, pride. If we think that we are better than the other people, our pastor is better, our speaker is better, our church is better, our denomination is better and I am better. This mentality and this attitudes cheats you and then we fall then we, we don't even know. We don't even know where we are. That is where we get wrong. Right. That's what the Lord God declared. Yesterday we looked at the uh, prophet Obadiah. He declares that uh, even though if you are stay, staying among the stars, that high place, I will bring you down, declares the Lord. We learned that yesterday. Today, let's go to another prophet. The major prophet Jeremiah, look what he says about this. As for the terror of you, the arrogance of your heart has deceived you. Isn't that the same thing we learned yesterday from prophet Obadiah? Mm. Let's move on. Oh, you who live in the clefts of the rock, who occupy the height of the hill, though you make your nest as high as an eagle's, I will bring you down from there, declares the Lord. He was declaring everything. And then after years, then Jeremiah came and he says the same thing. And Obadiah came later, way later. And he, using him, the same God says the same thing. I will bring you down, declares the Lord. And when you come to the book of Revelation, we saw that how he judged. Those who do not keep commandments, we know that where they are going. It is the final judgment of the Lord. We don't remember, we just easily forget that he is the lover, yes. And at the same time, he is the judge sitting in the throne. We forget that. So, we must put these two things together. Same father gives us a chocolate. When we do something good and the same father take the cane and beat us when we do something wrong. So we need to be aware and awake. Let's see you again tomorrow and by that time.
think of these things and take it serious. Again, the purpose of learning all these things to come out of this deceiving mindset and if we are still think that no need commandments, he emphasized on the need of it. We must keep commandments in order to go to heaven and have life everlasting. May the Lord God bless you.